So if you were to ask, do we have $260 million out of the bank now? The answer is no. But do we have plans to grow the $260 million over the next five years? The answer is definitely yes. Because the investments that we need to make are so critical for the success of the university. In terms of investment and investing in the faculty and staff as well, you know, you've talked for a long time, I know, with curators, I mean, just since you got here, you right. talking about how faculty and staff need these raises. Right. $7.5 million in that five-year plan, is that enough? No, with no, I'm sorry, that's not enough. In fact, I did not include what the salary increase is going to be, because that's going to be provided for each of the four universities. The $7.5 million is used to develop training programs and well-being programs for faculty and staff. But in addition, we're going to have to find uh, monies available at all four universities for the increases over the next five years. And can you just explain how that can help retain faculty? Because when we look at the numbers, you know, faculty tend to That's come right. and go pretty quickly. That's right. Well, our faculty members are world class. So we have staff members that can be recruited to other um, other businesses in the region and beyond. So we need to make sure that we increase increase and reward the high-performing faculty and staff with performance increases, and that's going to be key. So the $75 million investment is going to be for the promise and opportunity so that we can meet the unmet needs of Pell students as well as near Pell students. And many of these students have to work several jobs while they're going to school. We want to be able to provide them this support so that they can reduce the amount of time that they have to work so that they can increase the likelihood that they'll be retained and graduate to success. And if we can reduce the time to graduation, imagine that a typical debt at graduation for students is $25,000 and they take five years to graduate. If we can cut off one year, one year of graduate, one year of studies towards that graduation, we can save them $5,000 in terms of debt at graduation. Perfect. And then can you give a simple explanation about how the UM plans to work with the Missouri Chamber of Commerce to expand? So Missouri Chamber of Commerce just uh, inked a deal with the Indiana Chamber of Commerce to launch Missouri Intern Connect. And we are the first university partner for this program. We're going to work very closely with Dan Meehan and his team so that our students have access through this portal to find the best internship opportunities in Missouri. Thank you. Is there one of the investments that you're most proud of? Student success. I mean, that's why we're here at the university. We need to ensure that our students are provided a high quality, affordable education, and that they are provided the opportunities for success after they graduate. Thank you. Last question. Um, uh, follow up to Kyle's question. How will the UM system hold themselves to account for recruiting and retaining more diverse faculty and students? So we are developing, well, not we are developing, we have developed dashboards for performance. I look at that dashboard every month to see how we are performing in terms of retention rate, graduation rates for underrepresented minority students. There will be a new dashboard for hiring that looks at demographics of applicants to our pool for faculty and staff. So the accountability starts with me and it will flow all the way down to the department chairs.